Hi, it's Lata Brouwer and you are now watching Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to improve your violin and viola playing with joy. You might have read or heard me saying that you can better increase the height of your chin rest than your shoulder rest. Because if you increase the height of your shoulder rest, then your violin will be higher as your shoulder rest is under your violin. So the position of your right arm to, uh, for bowing will be higher too. And there is a chance that you get some injury on your right arm if you have to lift it too much with the bow. So I always say to people, if they want more height here, um, then you better choose a higher chin rest than a higher shoulder rest. Well, the problem was that there, were, there wasn't so much choice in higher and lower chin rests, while shoulder rests you can just adjust them most of the times in height. So that was a little bit of a problem, but now Wittner has invented the Augsburg chin rest, which is adjustable in height. And as far as I know, this is the first chin rest in which that is possible. Because there were chin rests that were available in different sizes. Sometimes they were quite expensive. But this is not so expensive and you can adjust it in height. So you can experiment along with it and you are not, you don't have to stick to a certain height or buy several chin rests in different heights. Um, well, I'll show you because it took me a little while to see how it works. So I'll make this video to, to show you how that works because we've got a lot of parts here. Well, first you need a kind of thingy like this to remove your old chin rest. And well, just as I'm busy, I can show you how to do that. Well, just put that in a hole. Don't put it through because then you will damage the uh, polish of your violin. Okay, then it's loose. Well, this is a new violin, so this goes uh, without problems. But sometimes you will have some remains of the cork here. So clean that first before you do the other chin rest. Well, then we have here the new Wittner Augsburg chin rest. Well, this is the chin rest itself. And then you've got this and you might be thinking, what is that? Well, <laughs> there are different thingies you can put under the chin rest, like here. So you can determine the height of the chin rest. Well, you probably can't see it on the video, but there are some numbers here, zero, two, four, and six. And these are for one side of the chin rest, so one side, and these are for the other side. Well, of course, you can uh, use the same number for each side, but you can also choose to use, for example, here a bit higher uh, number. So the chin rest is a bit tilted to the left or to the right. So you can just experiment along with it, just what you need. Um, well, let's choose, uh, for example, a two uh, and a two. It's not very different when you choose other numbers. Well, then we have these little things. And then it comes with a little bag with screws and some rubbery kind of thingies. Okay, put screws out. Well, then there is comes a screwdriver along with it, so you don't have to search for a screwdriver that fits. Then turn it this way, put it on the chin rust like this. Well, then it's a little bit tricky to put the screw through, so you can better put it through first. And then aim it a little for that tube. Then the screwdriver. Then do the other side in the same way. Okay, when they're both fixed, we have this. Oh, yeah. I have it think it's not done. When they're both on the chin rest, it looks like this. Then you can put the chin rest on the violin. 
Um, well, this is centered chin rest, so it's over the tail piece, so not here or here. Then you have these little rubbery things, don't forget them, because otherwise the polish of your violin will be damaged. Put them on here with the flat side facing the violin, like that. On the violin, well then it looks like you're ready, but you're not. <laughs> Um, then you need to put these little feet on the chin rest that goes like this and like this. Well then check if the rubber is still under the feet because Otherwise, you will damage your violin, and we don't want that. Then these go over the violin, like that. Then we get the screwdriver again, and we fix it. Well, don't overdo this, but it must be nice and firm. Make sure that the feet are straight. And that this... And that is just firm and it won't slip away under your chin. But also don't do it too much, otherwise you sure will have a flat violin. Okay, that's how to do it. And then you can experiment along with different heights and uh, maybe a little bit higher left or a bit higher right. And uh, well, that's actually the advantage of this chin rest. Well, I hope you find this uh, video useful. Do you like this video then? Please like it and share it with your friends. If you'd like to receive more valuable and actionable tips and tricks around violin playing, then please go to violinannounce.com and subscribe to get my two free gifts for violinists worldwide. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Happy playing! Bye bye! Join me in the free workshop Weight vs. Pressure, where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.